In today's video, we're going to do something you're not supposed to. We're going to put metal in a microwave. Hey, you have a microwave. It still works amazingly. This is the same microwave that we've done a lot of stuff with, like batteries, a hundred bags of popcorn, but this one, at least last time we tried, still works, mm -hmm. and we want to test some stuff out. This video idea is partially inspired by someone posted on the King of Random subreddit with the username TKOR Big Fan. Wanted to see what would happen if you microwaved coins, and that was in response to a trolling post that someone had made, where if you put coins in a microwave, it would shrink them, and they had a picture of like a shrunken coin. That is something you can do to coins, but it requires a very, very powerful electromagnet. It's something that's not the same as a microwave, and that was just messing with people. They acknowledged in their post that they didn't actually think it would work, but it did make me interested in seeing what other things could be microwaved that are made of metal. Now, metal actually can go in the microwave. Now, you've got aluminum foil here, but you actually put aluminum in the microwave all the time, even if you don't know it. Uh, if you heat up Hot Pockets, little containers of microwavable soup, all of those things have thin aluminum linings which help heat it up. A couple other things I've always thought were interesting. One, my mom growing up would use this kind of juice a lot. It's frozen juice concentrate. You can see the top and bottom are just metal lids. She would take the top one off and then to make it soft enough to actually mix into the juice, she'd put it in the microwave, leaving the bottom metal piece on. And it occurred to me, the walls of our microwave are also made of metal. The back wall that we drilled a hole into so we could film, it's made of steel. So clearly not all metal all the time will cause sparks and ruin your microwave. So the lining of this microwave is actually metal. It forms a Faraday cage that is allowing us to microwave the food without those microwaves escaping and cooking us. That's also this mesh front here as well. That's metal and those little holes are small enough that the microwaves themselves bounce against it, they can't escape. However, the light waves that allow you to see your food cooking can escape. So you can see through it, but the microwave stay trapped. So the idea today is we want to test. We want to just start putting metal stuff in the microwave and see what does spark and what does not spark. And we're just going to work under the assumption that if it's sparking, it's definitely bad for the microwave. And if it's not sparking, it's only maybe bad for the microwave. To start off, I'm just going to do the frozen juice. Yeah. Take the top lid off. You can see how frozen this is. Now this will thaw a little, but microwaves work really well on liquid water. We're just gonna put this into the microwave for 30 seconds, and we're gonna see if anything happens to it. Yep, and there it is, microwaving. Note the distinct lack of sparks coming off of that orange juice. Yeah, just so happy to be here. And you can see we definitely have a more liquid consistency. The metal on the bottom is still quite cold, which makes sense. It's still in contact with a lot of frozen orange juice concentrate. No sparks, no problems whatsoever. However, some things will spark. I'm quite confident that this crumpled ball of aluminum foil is one of those things. So now we're gonna see what happens to this. Oh, look, it's sparking everywhere. Whee! Purple sparks. And oh, no, no, we got plasma. plasma. Should I stop that? Yeah. All right. And I think uh, I was also interfering with my camera. It was yeah, doing the a weird camera jumping was like thing. Shaking. I've never seen. I've filmed a good amount inside a microwave before. I've never had the camera bounce around like that. We melted holes in the aluminum. It's very warm to the touch, not hot. I think if I were to squish it in my hands, it would definitely burn me. I was watching plasma gathering in these little areas, and you can actually see where holes we have melted right through. Melted right into it. So why can you put food in the microwave, thinner amounts of metal? and not pieces of aluminum. If you are cooking food, the microwaves are gonna bounce around until they're actually absorbed into the molecules through a process called dielectric loss. But with metal, you have electrons that move freely. And what they do when they are exposed to all those little microwaves is that they start wiggling back and forth and cause almost a force field, I guess you could call it, that's gonna bounce the microwaves back and potentially harm the inside of your Faraday cage, burn holes in the metal of your microwave, and potentially break it. On to a little bit more experimentation. We're now gonna try a fork, just a standard dinner fork. Normally, this would happen by accident. You know, you put your plate in the microwave and you forget to take your fork off. We're just gonna do the fork without the plate of food. Oh, was that just it passing through the light? I think so. Okay. So Looking. far, still no sparking. Nothing, nothing. Oh, well, it made it 30 seconds it and did. we didn't see any sparks, but- I wonder if it's hot. It has heated up considerably. That is Neat. an uncomfortably hot fork. All right, so it's a very warm fork, but there was no sparking. 
So now we're gonna try setting it up uh, a little bit more in the middle of the microwave and see if anything changes. Oh, it's it's making the camera mad again. as we continue to stay at this level with it. Non-ionizing radiation. I wonder if it's just like arcing to my phone or something. Like okay. microwaves are just hitting my phone itself. Hang on, wait for it. Oh no, maybe I spoke too soon. Huh? I saw nothing. All right, that fork survived two trips through the microwave. I don't think the spoon's going to give us very different results with fork, but now I want to try the spoon and the fork. So for now, they're about an eighth of an inch apart. Yeah, see if we can get any sparking between the two metals. Yeah, we're, uh, we're getting a readout of about 180 degrees. All right, yep. Yeah. I'd say at least 180 degrees. That thing may not be able to get a great read on something shiny reflective. I have one of our thinner forks from the kitchen. It's one of the ones that Nate was talking about. It was stamped out of a sheet of metal. It's not thick. It's not a nice piece of metal. Well, cheap fork in a microwave. All right. Also two minutes. Oh, phone's not phone happy. Did a little blip, but I'm seeing no sparks. Foil goes so fast. Foil's just so many sharp corners and edges. All right, let's see. Hot-ish. We're just gonna give it a little bit more character or a modern art installation. No sparking. Nothing. Yeah. What are we doing now? Oh. A whole pile of silverware. Yes, glorious. Sparking, I'm seeing that sparking. little one, yeah. But I gotta say, for all of the metal we've gotten there, that's surprisingly little result. I do want to try raising up that much metal on something now. Maybe let's just put it all like on a higher plate or something. Yeah. Oh, we getting more sparks though. All right, call it. Yeah. Tiny little Tiny. spot right there. Yeah. A knife, pretty obvious color change from all of the heat. And then right there at the edge is the point where it was touching. So that purple, all that discoloration. We've got our elevated pile of silverware. See how this does. Three minutes. Oh, it's messing with my phone again. Phone cameras don't like to get hit with microwaves, it turns out. Weird. But we are getting sparking sooner. Yeah. And a little bit more, I think. It's a little more energetic. The nature of the microwave, the Faraday cage formed by the steel walls, causes the microwaves to bounce around. So in theory, they hit everywhere. But a little bit off of the plate does seem to get heat it up a little bit more and a little bit faster. I gotta say though, this is still pretty minor compared to the aluminum foil. Yeah. All right, it's probably good. Yeah, minute 30. Not quite as warm, it looks like. I lied. That metal has been heated up by the microwave. Not nearly as much as the, not even necessarily explosive, but more energetic reaction than I was expecting. I've now put a couple of ball bearings on our upside down bowl here. These are steel 5 8 inch bearings. And in theory, because they're really round and smooth, they should just have a single point, extraordinarily small. And that seems to kind of be what was working with the forks and knives, getting them to spark. So I'm curious to see if the ball bearings will spark. Oh, freaking out the phone a bit. I think our phone might just be on its last legs from being microwaved so many times. It's possible. Every time they come around to one side, my phone glitches out again. The back wall of the microwave is getting hot to the touch. Yep, that's why I'm actually feeling the top. I'm making sure we're not getting Ooh. into a dangerous range here. All right, that's yep, call exciting it. stuff. And getting too hot on the back of the microwave to touch anything. I don't really see anything on here. They might just be too small to get hit by much. <laughs> So the original post that inspired this video was talking about coins in a microwave. Here we so go. So now we've got a pile of them. We can't see them terribly well because they're elevated up to about level with the camera, but I think they have a better chance of actually reacting this way. Yep. I don't think we're even getting any sparking off of these coins. So I did see the original trolling post about how coins in a microwave would shrink down and 
people you know reacting to it talking about whether or not it would do anything and there were some people saying oh you know they would just spark and ruin your microwave i didn't think that was the case because i had seen my mom put those lids those much larger end caps to the frozen juice in a microwave before and I knew that didn't cause any issues. So I assumed that a coin would act similarly. It might get hot, but it's not gonna spark and it's certainly not going to shrink. These coins are all regular sized. Weird. That's disappointing. We're gonna try and have one stand up on its edge, see if that makes any difference. Probably won't, but why not? Are they shrinking? They're so tiny. They're doing a whole lot of nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Coins in a microwave. Not much. Nah. Guys, you can't shrink coins in a microwave. Not like this. I do think it's interesting that we got so little sparking, yeah. except for the foil. We got a little bit of plasma. It melted. We tried multiple types of forks, multiple types of silverware. We tried ball bearings. Less than we were expecting. Go microwave, do a thing. Yeah! I would say this is That's still a correctly so functioning microwave. It looks like a thunderstorm. It does. And now it stopped. It only goes for a certain amount of time, then it stops. Or I, we seriously broke it. I do think our microwave is not happy with us. So, all of the warnings about not putting metal in the microwave, at this point in technology, those are almost entirely there to protect the microwave. They're not even about protecting the user. Although, if you had a fork on a plate, heated it up, even if it didn't spark, when you went to grab that fork, I bet it would burn your hand pretty bad. In the case of a ball of foil, I think it's bad for the microwave. But, fork in the microwave. We got a hot fork, we got no sparking off of forks. Yeah, it wasn't shocking. until we had a pile of silverware <laughs> that we got a couple sparks in a few places. They did get very hot, they to did. the point where it would have been hazardous to grab them. Crumpled aluminum foil, lots of sparks. Yep. Possibly destroying our microwave. So guys, you can technically put metal in the microwave. You shouldn't, because it's bad for your microwave, but it's, it's not it's a It's bad hazard. for the microwave, <laughs> at least if it sparks. Yeah. Other than that, you're probably gonna be fine. I don't think it's gonna light on fire. It's not gonna blow up or burn. Anything else you've been curious about? You wanna see microwaves? I wanna put a giant watermelon in there for no good reason. I just wanna see if it'll explode. She wants to microwave Please watermelon. Please put that in the comments below so he'll let me do it. <laughs> Guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more for you to see. Hit that box up at the top for our most recent video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.